So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my concert tips. These go for mostly k-pop concerts but they could also apply to just concerts in general i've been to a good bunch of concerts i think my tips could be useful to some of you guys who haven't gone to a concert like at all and yeah if you guys have any more questions or if i left out anything please feel free to comment down below and ask me so first we're gonna go into apparel just things you should carry things you should wear so for concerts i suggest to carry as little as possible one bag that i always carry is this clear one it's an adidas one um um, it's just a fanny pack i've worn this to the nct concert and a justin bieber concert and then i also recently got this one from nuna secret crafts it's super cute it's like made for like a k-pop concert venues are super strict with the size of bag that you can carry and they prefer clear bags as well or sometimes i just carry like a mini purse like a super mini purse like this i definitely recommend getting the smallest bag you can get or even not carrying a bag at all it just depends how you're getting there like if you're arriving to the concert in a car then you could just leave your necessities or like the things you don't really need in your car and and just take your phone and your wallet and stuff like that so you don't really need a bag but if you're like traveling there if you're like taking an uber you just kind of need to take everything try to take the smallest bag that you can take because it's going to be a hassle if they're going to tell you like you can't bring this in then you either have to throw it it's just a whole process you know sometimes they make you like store it somewhere they have like a hold thing and you have to pay a certain amount for them to hold it for you for the end of the concert so the first thing that i carry is just chapstick and lipstick um just to moisturize your lips because your mouth does get pretty dry and then j just if i need to reapply some lipstick um like for pictures or anything like that also make sure to take your keys i used to carry a pepper spray but just to risk it getting confiscated or taken away um i don't carry my pepper spray which i feel like kind of defeats the purpose that's when you might need it the most you know at a concert with like a big group of people but i'm pretty sure they don't allow pepper sprays in there but again it depends on the venue don't forget your keys okay to go back home get inside your car or whatever also please everyone get a portable charger these come in very handy your phone does die if you use it a lot especially with recording or if you're just going to be there the whole day i definitely recommend to get a portable charger if you're going with a group of friends tell all your friends to carry their own portable charger just so like each of your phones are super are like charged enough so you don't need to like share you know and like having this dead and then you have like no other option to charge your phone um also don't forget your wallet okay carry cash um your cards your id your covid vaccine don't forget those you definitely need those to enter the venue i also like to carry some pads like some mini pads because you never know okay last time i went to the justin bieber concert and i ended up getting it on my way there i ended up getting my period and i was just like damn luckily i came prepared or else i literally i don't know what i would have done i would have had to walk to like a pharmacy or somewhere to buy pads or whatever and they don't even sell single pads so you'd have to buy like the whole packet we didn't go in a car so like where would i leave all those pads you know so make sure to take some pads okay take some little ones some baby ones carry some band-aids in there maybe be prepared because you never know okay it comes at the worst times i swear if you're going to K-pop concert don't forget your light stick if you have your light stick some extra things that you guys might want to take are some hair clips hair ties anything to tie your hair with because i know sometimes hair can be annoying you know it's just good to have a hair tie or a hair clip to put your hair back if you're like turning up too hard or something also just specifically for k-pop um i definitely recommend taking cute little pc holders and just like hanging it on your bag i definitely think these look really cute and they just spice up your outfit they just make everything look super cute they're conversation starters if you see another fan with a pc that you've always wanted you could always go up to them and be like oh my god you have that pc i want that and they'll be like no way who's your bias oh my god it's doyoung no way me too make a friend there boom you can also carry an extra mask i know my friend fernanda she carried an extra mask and it ended up being really useful because at the end of the day her mask was like super dirty from like makeup and lipstick don't forget to wear your masks don't forget another thing that i get asked a lot is people asking what they should wear i know i make a lot of fashion like inspired k-pop concert videos it's honestly up to every person you know to each their own some people want to go more comfortable and go in jeans and a t-shirt or a hoodie some people like to dress up more you know it's their hobbies they like to dress up they like to wear skirts dresses heels do everything like that it all just depends what you're comfortable 
comfortable with what you feel like wearing that day just wear what you want to wear don't feel pressure to dress a certain way just because you see other people dressing a certain way don't be like i feel like i need to do that like i feel like there's like a runaway or like a fashion show it really isn't at the end of the day we're all going to watch our favorite artist perform which is the main point of going to a concert just wear what you're comfortable with what you want to wear do you anything is fine anything is great you're gonna look lovely be who you want to be okay so as we know there's two forms of tickets there's ga and then there's like seated ticket ga stands for general admission so it's a first come first serve so the earlier you get the closer you'll be to the stage rather with like normal standard tickets you have a seat you don't need to go early to the venue to get in your seat like you can literally arrive like 30 minutes before the show starts and your seat is reserved for you for ga especially keep in mind that it gets really crowded it gets really hot you're elbow to elbow you're next to these people for the next blank hours it gets really hot it gets really sweaty everyone's jumping dancing singing recording lifting up their arms breathing on you whatever so dress accordingly to that i recommend wearing the lightest things you can you know try not to go super coated like a lot of layers because it does get pretty hot i know it's kind of hard because if you're in a colder city you know you want to make sure you're wearing like a jacket and stuff ga can get pretty scary sometimes it depends what concert you're going to but i know sometimes they like you know the crowd moves and you're just kind of moving with the crowd and it's just like it's just a big thing so just watch out for that also when you're in ga you won't be able to sit so make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes because you will be standing for a long period of time i've worn heels and like platforms and stuff for ga and you know you got to do it for the fit okay i know sometimes you're like i i want to wear these shoes for the fit they're not the most comfortable but i want to wear them and then at the end of the day you're like damn but you know gotta do it for the fit make sure to be prepared i forgot which concert it was but my legs were super sore i think i went to an omar apollo concert and i remember my legs were super sore the day after um because i had been standing all day and i literally just wore my platform doc martin and my feet were hurting really bad i can't even imagine how i would have felt if i wore heels also if you're on the shorter side and you have ga tickets i recommend wearing platform shoes or heels or anything that'll make you taller because there will be taller people around you i'm only 5'4 there's been so many instances where there's been even taller people in front of me and i just like can't see and i'm wearing platforms and wearing heels and i remember to one concert there were these short people behind me and i felt really bad because i was wearing like platforms and i even wanted to tell them like hey do you guys want to like go in front of me so you guys can see better but the person in front of me was even taller than i was so i was like i don't think it's gonna help if i tell them to move forward because they're gonna be blocked even more so just keep in mind there will be tall people around you in front of you try to move if you can i know my sister she's on the shorter side she's 4'11 she was next to me and she couldn't see the artist and so she had to move because there was this like window between two people where she could like perfectly see up and see the artist i wish we could all just see equally you know despite of our height but unfortunately it's not like that if you have tickets that are seated you're chilling you can sit at any time there's a lot more freedom when having just like a standard ticket you can get out of your seat you can come back right to your seat rather with ga if you leave your spot is just like gone especially if you're at the very front it's highly unlikely for you to be able to leave and then come back to the same spot because you're gonna have to like serve into the crowd and i don't know sometimes the crowd is very like you know they don't budge and they just won't let you through so in terms of what time you should arrive at the venue it all depends on the artist you're gonna go see like if there's a merch line if you have vip tickets if you have sound check that's usually said in like your ticket or if they email you if you have vip they usually let you know what time you should be there what time the doors are gonna open for people who have vip what time for the merch line all of that what helps me is i like to check on twitter to see at what time people are arriving or just seeing updates on there or even seeing the dates of the artists from like before my date and seeing what time they got just to prepare like what time i should go if it's a smaller artist and a smaller venue you won't have to go as early because it's a much smaller compact area so you know any seat is a good seat in a smaller venue because you'll be able to see the artist just fine but if it's a bigger artist you might have to go a bit earlier and just wait in line as you know ga is a first come first serve the earlier you get there the closer you'll be to the stage 
page again depending on the artist i think lining up in the morning would definitely get you really close to the line i remember when i saw bts in 2018 i believe i lined up with my friends at 10 in the morning and i was pretty close if we had lined up way earlier i think we would have literally gone to barricade but we were like i'd say five rows behind from the barricade and ga again it depends on the concert some fans are more dedicated than others some fans literally line up 6 a.m or even camp the night before so it just honestly depends but i think lining up in the morning is a good in between also if you are lining up in the morning or all day make sure to wear sunscreen because i remember <laughs> when i went to the bts concert i got a huge sun tan line like i got sunburnt and i got a tan line and it was crazy i don't even remember it being that hot but i was under the sun all day i was wearing a tank top and i literally got like a tan line and i came home and i was like if you're lining up for ga it helps if you're with another person or with like a group of friends so you guys can change let's say one of you stays in the line while the other goes to get food because if you're going to be there all day you're going to want to eat or if you want to use the bathroom your friend can stay or like hold your spot but also if you're going alone don't hesitate to ask the people in front of you or the people behind you to hold your spot usually they're really nice about it i remember at the omar apollo concert this person in front of me asked if i could hold their place because they wanted to go use the bathroom i was like oh yeah no no worries like i got you also before going into the venue make sure to pee because once you enter the venue you're going to be in your set spot and you're not going to be able to leave your ga spot and then come back you know again if you have seats you don't need to worry about getting there super early you can get there i'd recommend maybe like an hour to three hours earlier just to not be super rushed or anything now this is for k-pop concerts specifically some tickets include sound check and that's done before the concert actually starts so i'd say like like maybe an hour or two before the concert starts for the sound checks that i've been to usually they don't allow recordings make sure to have your phone put away in your bag like nowhere to be seen because they will take your phone away from you i've seen it before especially in k-pop concerts they're super strict on not having your phone out and recording during sound checks so be careful sometimes they can get pretty aggressive they literally just snatch your phone without you even looking so just be aware of that sound check is basically where they perform a few songs and just like interact with the audience you know say hello just a chill little performance before the concert actually starts you know just enjoy the moment enjoy the artist being in front of you you know no phones no recording and like don't worry when the concert starts you're going to be able to take out your phone and record and then some concerts or some artists also hold high touch which is usually done after the concert um so you have to wait until everyone who doesn't have high touch to leave the venue then they start organizing you guys in groups and lines and stuff for you to get ready to do the high touch with the members majority of high touches allow you to record so just be prepared make sure it's not dead or if you don't want to record that's fine too if you have an iphone i recommend changing your camera settings to 4k which just enhances the quality of the camera and also in the corner next to the 4k on your camera when you start recording there's these three numbers 24 30 and 60 i recommend changing it to 60 or like the highest number you see because that helps with like the shakiness of the camera and helps like to stabilize stabilize it stabilize it it helps to stabilize it stabilize whatever so if your hand is moving or shaking a lot it'll help to like prevent that and it'll just make the video look smoother you know because i know sometimes it can you can get pretty nervous and you're just kind of like you know shaking but it helps with the shakiness also try not to look at your phone when you're doing the high touch because obviously you want to see the members you can even practice beforehand with your phone and just like see what works best for you and just press record and then just like leave it up to you know cross your fingers hope that you got a good recording but obviously you want to like interact with the members and say hi usually i like to keep my phone here like to my chest this area and i just hold it like this rather than like this because then i feel like i can accidentally like press buttons so just hold it like this so you don't press any of the screen when you're a few people behind and you see that you're almost getting ready to see the members then just press record and then just hold it like this and then have this hand as like your free hand so you can either wave do a little heart do whatever you want to do make sure to free up space on your phone if you guys do plan on recording because it's happened to me so many times when i'm in like in the middle of recording it says iphone storage full and i'm like 
what and i've had to like delete applications or whatever delete like tiktok drafts because they'll take up hella space and also try not to use your phone a lot throughout the whole day especially if you're gonna be lining up in the am even if you have a portable charger it's always nice to just not use your phone a lot to not use a lot of the battery up a lot because your portable charger could also run out of battery and then you're just kind of screwed it's also just for safety reasons good to have your phone on battery especially like after the concert you know it's like nighttime there's a lot of people there's a big crowd it's nice to have your phone alive just so you can contact your ride your friends your family or anyone you need to contact to get home safely they also don't allow outside food or drinks or gum inside the venue so make sure to eat beforehand um drink as much water as you can sometimes the venues depending how big they are um have food inside like little restaurants or little places to buy snacks so then in that case you can wait and go inside and then buy whatever food you want to buy but make sure to drink water stay hydrated you're gonna be jumping screaming laughing talking a lot so make sure to keep your voice moisturized again if you guys have more questions on what you can bring inside the venue you can also check the website of the venue you guys are going to usually they have a section of um what you can carry what you're not allowed to take in what you're allowed to take in so make sure to check that website beforehand like a few days or a few weeks before the concert just so you're prepared and you don't take anything that you're not allowed to take in now this last part is getting tickets now i'm the worst person to ask for tips on how to get tickets my luck isn't so great so i'm the wrong person to ask about this what i usually do you know how on Ticketmaster or like you know they have like a countdown and it's like a countdown time until they release the tickets i'm usually on that page a few hours before the tickets get released and then i just kind of cross my fingers hope to get tickets and just go from there last time fernanda and i tried to get tickets and she had a page where she was on the um, website like hours before the tickets were gonna get released and then i ended up getting on the website like five minutes before the tickets were gonna get released i ended up getting to the tickets faster than she did even though she was on the page hours before but for some reason me who only got there five minutes prior to the tickets getting released um i ended up getting closer um, so I think it just kind of depends. I don't know. I really don't have any tips for that. I'm so sorry. Um, I recommend just looking at other videos of other people giving their tips. They probably have better tips than I do. They probably have some like secret code or something. I don't know. I usually end up buying resale tickets just because my luck is super bad and I just... I, me and Ticketmaster are not like this. Okay, we're like this. We're not like this. We're like this. So any concerts that you guys see me going to if i'm like front row just know i spent too much on those okay resale tickets are literally they should be banned they always end up hurting my wallet and making it cry because of how expensive they are like freaking five times more expensive than the original price all because my luck is bad and i can't get tickets face value but that's basically all of my tips for concerts slash k-pop concerts at the end of the day guys enjoy your time at these concerts take pictures make memories meet new people every concert i've been to has been very special to me they've each had their own little cute moments that have meant a lot to me it's definitely gonna be an unforgettable moment for you guys especially if you guys are gonna go see like your old group or like an artist you've been wanting to see for a long time yeah hopefully i didn't forget anything i made like i literally have a google docs like four pages of my tips because i was like am i missing something but i think i pretty much covered everything please wear your masks i see a lot of people not wearing their masks and it's very upsetting because then a lot of concerts tend to be rescheduled and then sometimes canceled and it's just very unfortunate that some fans can't follow just simple rules of wearing their masks it's really not that hard please wear your masks just stay safe you guys okay be on the lookout be aware of your surroundings you know concerts there's a huge crowd a lot of people you don't know the person next to you you don't know who you're surrounded by if you can go with someone try not to be alone because it's it's a scary world out there okay but also have fun you're gonna have a good time you're gonna have a fun time i hope you guys cry okay i hope you guys have a yn moment with your bias bro even if you're all the way in the back you're gonna have your yn moment i know i hope these tips helped you guys don't forget to follow me on my social media stay safe you guys and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.